Now we're going to learn about the Indians before we get going. This is Geronimo. This is Natchez. This is Geronimo's son. This is an unknown Indian with a child. Back up. Look at, they could have moved over. Hmm. They could have moved over. Why'd they put this guy in the bushes? Okay. This picture was taken by C.S. Fly. Famous for doing this photography. I don't even want to get into it because I lost $3 million. Okay, never mind that. There's Nachis. Here's his son completely over here. Notice their heads are straight. Now, people do this to us all the time on these videos, right? Their heads are straight. Look at their heads. This guy's head cocked one way. His head's cocked the other way. The child's in the middle. Why was this Indian not mentioned? Geronimo wanted this particular picture taken with these particular people in this photograph by his own request a day before he surrendered to General Koch in the Sidera Medrell Mountains in Mexico, which was March 27th. 1886, which he escaped March 30th, 1886. So it was a three day resurrection. A three day resurrection. He escaped. They just got him all tucked in, and three days later he escaped. That was the end of the story on this picture. Why was this particular picture taken? by his request by these particular people. Now, if you look at these these uh, tall, tall things in the background, notice his elbow doesn't even look like a human elbow. Look how it's cocked out in the famous V, as we all know. And uh, see, this V is heading vertical. This one's going horizontal. Nachi's son. I mean, Geronimo's son. Nachi's. Geronimo. Unknown Indian. Why would this man, of all the people that he could have, Red Cloud, all of them? Well, Red Cloud wasn't in that clan, but I, re I studied Indians. Why wasn't this man mentioned? He just picked a random child. This man is kind of like stuck over in the, the bushes. His, his legs kind of look strange. He's, he, he's the only one in white, for one thing. His white pants or buckskin. These guys all seem to have, well, maybe he's got some lighter pants on. That's just the sun hitting him. And that too. See the way the sun's hitting these guys' pants? Look at the dot on that. It could be a, 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 a medallion of some sort catching the sun. Look at how he has those stripes. They look familiar on some other things I'm getting ready to show. I have had this picture. That, that mark right there is just a dent. This is a postcard. This is a postcard held by the Arizona National Museum. Here is our history. Look at the white on his shoes. See the, the, I believe the light shining on these people. If you look at the different ways the lights all shine. Look, he has medallions across his chest. He has one around his neck. It, it looks like that's on his horse. He has one right there. And look how they lit up Look how the light reflection. These are all signs. Believe it or not, this goes back to the Illuminati. The Aztecs. The Mormons. Three days of resurrection in the, in the camp and then he expires. Why were these particular people chosen? 
That's the mystery, and this is how it works. Then if you want to get into the background, that is a whole new subject. Like, look at this guy. Dogman, bear man. There's just faces everywhere in this. Interdimensionals have always been involved. I think that's why the camera was invented.